Yo, what's shaking? Robert Bruski here. Growing up in Canada, I don't recall anybody ever using the term Canadian whiskey. Instead, we called all whiskey from Canada rye. And most people north of the 49th parallel still do. It acquired that name because when Canadians first started making whiskey, it was almost always made with rye. But over the years, things changed, and although you don't need to use rye to make whiskey in Canada, the best of them still have a healthy dose and a flavor that is distinct to Canadian whiskey. Hey everyone, Robert Bruski here for Whiskey Wednesday. Today, I want to show you some Canadian whiskey. We're drinking Pike Creek, right here from Ontario. A lot of people think about Canadian whiskey and they think about the big brands, but they don't always remember that we've got small, independent distilleries too. And this is one of my favorite, Pike Creek. These guys distill their whiskey and they let it age with the elements. Sits in a warehouse that has no electricity. With the summer, the barrels swell and expand. And with the harsh winters, they contract. These are rum barrels gives you a beautiful vanilla finish with some hints of molasses, complexity, and flavor. Totally dills my pickle. I love whiskey. Whiskey's my favorite spirit. Makes me happier than old blues sitting on the porch, chewing on an old catfish head. But you know what gets me hotter than a $2 pawn shop pistol? Effort. Inconsistency with Pike Creek Whiskey. Pike Creek Whiskey. On opening, the nose is decidedly rye with a hint of alcohol, but on tasting, the corn provides a thick, creamy feel, while rye counters with spice without fire. It then finishes with dry sherry and lasting white pepper spiciness. Pike Creek Whiskey. Canadian rye on Whiskey Wednesday with Robert Bruski.